G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Specs. Today, we're talking through a video called How to Keep a Woman Happy by a YouTuber called Kira Latan. I'll put the video in the description if you want to check out the full thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through it all based on about the two minute preview that I listened to. So she's going to tell us guys, what do we need to do through her vast experience um, as a dating coach? What do men need to do to keep a woman happy? Let's see what she has to offer us. It can be simple if you understand her as a woman. And I feel like just understanding a woman in general will make her happy as hell. Like mm. just, just for a man to understand a woman is rare enough because it takes so much patience. It takes time and effort to really understand a woman. A woman is complicated, okay? And women don't understand women. Women don't even know what they're, why they do things. Oh, I've got friends that are women and I ask them, why oh, would you do that? And they go, I don't know, I was just emotional. Like they don't know. <laughs> so how can you understand a woman if they don't even understand themselves? It's hilarious. For any man who really puts his time and effort into understanding his woman, kudos, okay? Like, that's how you keep a woman. That's how you really, like, Is it? keep a woman happy, okay? One of the main things that a man stresses about is work, and work can bring a lot of negative, like, a lot of negativity into the man's life. A lot of stress, a lot of difficulties, challenges, and all this stress on the man can make him feel like he has to pour it onto someone else right he needs to talk about it <laughs> with his woman maybe you know like talk about his work and what he did there what a woman heaven heaven forbid heaven forbid that you need to come home and talk to say you've got a, a wife or you've got a de facto girlfriend you're living with heaven forbid you might want to come home and just talk about your day but as we're going to find out and as uh, a lot of guys already say in this space and 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 what i've learned for myself firsthand guys i've done this i wasn't i didn't come out of the box some guy knowing it all fucked up heaps of times but one thing you don't do, you absolutely do not whinge about work. Don't come home, talk about work. Um, you know, say you're stressful, you've got deadlines, you're working on some project or you're on the building site, you're trying to meet, meet, meet the project manager's demands, whatever it might be, right? Whatever stresses you have, don't fucking bother telling them about it. They, they, they don't care. They say they do, they're going to say, oh, what's in your mind? You might be sitting there on the couch, you know, looking into space, thinking about stuff, you know. As guys, sometimes we can't switch off. We, As she said, we, we do think about work a lot. Because we have to think about work a lot and we have to be good at our work. Just don't go and divulge information to women because the majority of them, um, it's every time I've done it, with every single woman I think I've ever done it with, and it's been a few, only a very few women I've ever really opened up to, and tell them about some sort of struggle. You can see them nodding, but it's like the eyes glaze over. Uh, you, just, you, can just, you can just see the fucking pussy lips just go... Whoosh. All right. So yeah, she's on point there, but it, it it is a bit bitter, a bit of a bitter pill hearing this from a woman. Women does not want to hear is all the negativity and complaining. Like if you're complaining about work and you're still getting the problem solved, but you're just complaining, like you're still doing the, the work, you're still doing what you got to do, but you just, you go out your way to really express how you feel negative negative wise like you express your stress to the woman a woman does not want to hear that <laughs> a woman can care about you so much that she will listen to it she will listen to you stress she will listen to you complain and she will sit there and try to reassure you try to feel for you try to even solve your problems like you know yeah good on you mate they don't do that the eyes just glaze over a woman doesn't know exactly what to do in that moment because you're either looking for a solution or you're looking for some sort of reassurance in that manner. And a woman does not know how to go about that. I'm telling you right now. A woman does not want unnecessary negativity that they can't solve for themselves. Women can't problem solve uh, for jack shit. Every woman I've lived, lived with, um, um, or I was married as well, any sort of minor problem, guys, I've got to take care of that, and that's fine. That's sort of my role as a man. But they can't solve any problems. Um, the, 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 the most minor decisions always got deferred to me, and that's fine. Like, as in, I've got to do this. What do you want me to do? Bang. Cool. I mean, that's how it should be. But talking about actually wanting to solve a problem that they can't solve themselves. A lot of women, like these boss babe chicks, they like to talk about problem solving, and they're just as good as men and all that. They, 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 they can't. As negative as that sounds, that's been the finding that I've had. You know, we, we as men, um, 
we have the weight of the world in our shoulders, you know, running families um, or running households, mortgages, bills, fucking car loans, uh, interest rates are up, you name it, taxes are up, you name it, guys. Like everything is just crushing you. They don't want to know about that, especially a kept woman who's not a contributor um, to the household finances. Uh, they don't want to know about that, and they'll never understand it. They'll never understand the pressure cooker that is life. Uh, unfortunately, we need to take the burden of it on our uh, on our own. If it's under your problem solving, like if you know you can do it, why express it? Why express the stress? Why express the complaining? Why why drag your woman? under the same boat as you if you're drowning under the boat why drag her with you like that's right mate how brutal is that if you're drowning you're you're hanging on it's like you know the titanic and jack's hanging on he's in the water help help but she's lying on the door and she just fucks him off and sends him into the water that's more or less um an analogy for this don't drown her with you or don't don't ask for help but just fucking drown shut up about it and the next dude will come along (laughs) oh you know what I'm saying? Like, that's practically what it is. You're just dragging your woman under negativity and under the same boat as you. And a woman does not, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, she can act like she's trying to help and she can do it as long as she can, but it's going to get to a point where she's going to be fed up with it. And a woman wants to just be happy. She wants peace. She doesn't want to worry about your problems because quite honestly, it's not <laughs> like she can solve them. Like, she's got her own problems that she probably can't even solve. So it's like... If you got your own problems as a man, I'm, I hate to say it, but it's your duty to solve your problems as a man. And it is. A woman's never going to be able to solve them. But what, what what's the message we get here is when a woman asks you to open up, just don't. Because cause most of the time, you're going to dry her up. It's just the way it goes. And that's a real bitter pill, especially for guys who might have mental health, um, struggling with mental health and might need to rely and, 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 and lean on the wife for some you know, reassurance and a bit of a pep talk, whatever it might be that keeps men going. Don't don't think you're going to get that. W- women will absolutely dry up if you do show weakness. It might not be instant, but they, they, they're going to turn off on you, right? They're just not built that way. They say they want to understand and they want to know what's going on and they want you to, you know, be connected to kindred spirit souls, bullshit. I'm telling you now, they're not built that way. They don't care. Um, as I said, they don't want to sh- stress. They don't want to manage stress. Um, and they're not, their brains don't work in a problem-solving manner for a lot of the time. I'm not saying all women, but I'm talking about a lot of women out there. And for you to express that to your woman, you're just getting her out of her own femininity, and she cannot, all she can do is feel for you. And if that's not what you're looking for, then stop bringing up problems and stress to your woman because <laughs> you're just going to make yourself mad. You're going to make yourself feel like more alone and... That's just not how you make your woman happy. You don't make your woman happy that way. You tell your woman that you solved your problem. That's how you... Is she sitting out of her bedroom or something with her mum's laptop? How old is this chick? Like 18 or something? Like, what would she even know? It's great. And she's got, on this video, you can't see, but she's got 68,000 views on it. So she's getting a decent bit of mileage on here and a lot of women saying thank you and all this sort of stuff. Thank you for articulating and blah, blah, blah. Guys... How to keep a woman happy? You can't because a lot of them are just C-U-N-T's. It's, it's, it's built into them. You make her happy. You tell her that you solved it and you were able to do it and, you know, you're strong. And, like, you can tell you can tell your woman about the trials and tribulations of your problems. You can talk about the problem. You can't. Okay? Not saying to avoid it completely. But if you haven't solved the problem yet and you haven't dealt with it and you're still talking about how it stresses you out, that's where you lose it. That's where you lose the woman because the woman does not want to hear about that. She only cares about the results. Just like everyone. <laughs> it couldn't be any more true. It's great. She's just saying it. Like, it's just her programming is not like most women where they'll try and hide it. Like, she's just straight up saying it the way it is. You got to respect that as much as it's a bit of pill for us to swallow as men, you know? I've heard this stuff said to me heaps of times by many different women in the past, you know, um, through my experiences. But every time I even hear it on a video like this, uh, it just goes to show it's the way they're programmed. She's young. Like, how much experience would she really would have had in life, you know, going through the trials and tribulations of life? I don't think there would probably be any. Has she been married? Has she been married a long time? Uh, has she had ups and downs with her husband? Probably not. No one else in this world, we only care about the results, right? We don't care 
if it was hard. We don't care if you couldn't get to it. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the problem needs to be solved. And if you can't solve it, then, you know, that's, that's your stress. That's your problem. And you can't put that on a woman that never wanted that in the first place. Like, that doesn't make a woman happy. It doesn't. Like, <laughs> you can think it does, but it does not. I'm telling you. Another way to make a woman happy is to always defend your woman. Always defend her. Sorry. Whether it be your friends or co-workers or family members. Like, whoever's talking about your woman, you defend them. You defend your woman. Because... No, you don't. She's not living in reality. And I think that she's probably a troublemaker because she's just triggered a memory here. And I'll tell you guys a little bit of a story. I went to a wedding like 15 years ago. Um, I had a plus one. My girlfriend at the time, um, a Polish girl, I've told you, I've talked about her. Um, she's a real piece of work, but very attractive, blah, blah, blah. Young man, I put up with all the bullshit. Probably more entitled, more, more, more carried on way more than this and said a whole lot of dumb, more bullshit than this. I went to a wedding. Um, and she just started all this fucking drama. Like, you know how you sit on a table and you've got um, big round tables and you've got the, uh, your couples and the plus ones. And she just started all this fucking bullshit to the point I was so embarrassed, guys. I'm not defending her. Uh, I, I, let, I let a girl fucking rip a shred off her. I just sat there and let it fucking happen. This is towards the end of the relationship. And I remember we were driving home that night and she's having a, you always defend me. No matter what, blah, blah, blah. I said, nah. Way out of line, carrying on, creating problems, being a complete fuckwit, not defending you. So don't listen to this bullshit. Don't be a white knight for chicks. Yeah, if someone comes up to your girl in the street and she's done nothing wrong and they fucking grab her or they, um, you know, whatever, fine. But you got to defend your woman. I understand that. But if they're going to go carry on, create drama and they want you to step in like a white knight and you get fucking stabbed in the neck or something, well, I don't agree with that. If they want to start shit, they need to deal with the consequences of it. A woman has intuitive skills like no other. I'm telling you, a woman will know. A woman will know if, not that if you're talking about them, but if she, if she knows that a friend or family member is talking bad about her and she knows that, you know, like it's just continuing, it's never stopping, like it keeps going, like that's a problem. That's a problem because she knows that you haven't defended her. Like if her name is keep being brought up to you and they're talking about how maybe she's not the right one for you or they're questioning your relationship or yeah. Yeah. if anyone is questioning your woman, you defend them. You defend them. <laughs> uh, this has obviously happened to her. Guys have said that chick's just fucking batshit crazy, dude. Stay the fuck away from her. She's been absolutely done over or feels like she's been done over, but she's the one who's probably done herself over with this stupid behavior. Anyway, guys, look, about halfway through, uh, if you're enjoying this content, a bit more lighthearted today, having a bit of a laugh at this chick. Um, yeah, going for 10K subs, um, slowly getting there, but guys, I can't do it without you and I and, um, really appreciate those who do subscribe and be part of the growth journey. Best way to help me out, guys, is just watch my videos through to the end, like, comment, all that sort of shit that every other YouTuber says, but it is what gets me out there. So I appreciate you guys that, that do hang around. Your woman, no matter what. Because if you love her and you, you want her in your life, she needs to know that you are there for her and she can trust you and she can feel like she can confide in you and she can, you know, like say that you're her man. But if you don't defend <laughs> her, she's going to question your intention. She's going to question if, you know, you even want her in your life. She's going to question that. And women, we have a tendency to question ourselves. And quite honestly, that's just a natural instinct in ourselves. We question ourselves because we are mainly emotions. We are mainly like full of hormones that make us question ourselves. So if a man's already not defending us, we're going to question if we're doing anything right. You know, we're going to question if we're ugly or if we're a bad girlfriend or, you know, like if we just did something wrong. And as a woman, that's not... How, how can a woman be happy if she's questioning herself? <laughs> how can a woman be accountable for anything? This is hilarious. Hey, guys, let's give some relationship advice on YouTube to 68,000 chicks from the perspective of a petulant 20-year-old. Yeah, absolutely. She'll be an absolute prime candidate for back of the VN behind the cricket ground. I'll take her down to Lords, guys. Behind Lords, snap this little thing in half. Absolutely. 
Would I put up with her for a day? This bullshit? No way. Sincerely, like, defend your woman so she doesn't question herself. Like, there's no reason to not defend your woman. Like, if you don't want her in your life, just just say that, you know? Like, yeah, there's no off. reason to try to stoop on someone else's level just to eliminate the energy that you don't want. Words like, and just shit. because someone thinks about your girl in a, in a certain way doesn't mean you have to. Like, I don't understand that concept <laughs> of, like, bros code and trying to, like, manipulate. Oh, wow. You're an absolute batshit mental chick, right? I'm going to say it's true. I'm not saying anything that's not a fact here. Oh, gee, man, you're nasty. You hate women. No, I don't. Let's call that bullshit. This is rubbish. But unfortunately, you got a woman acting. I get a lot of women acting on this advice from the internet, from a bloody 20-year-old who has a webcam. No experience. Like, what's the experience? You had a boyfriend um, and he fucking dumps you because you're a pain in the ass and you created drama in his life. That's probably what it sounds like. Love it. Love it. No accountability. Don't think for yourself. Do what I say. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for you young blokes out there. Like, she has to be, like, 25 or something. You late a guy into breaking up with his girlfriend or something. I don't, like, that. defend your girlfriend. Just defend her. It, even yeah, with your family, it. like, your parents. Like, if your mom or dad is telling you, oh, like, I don't think this is the girl for you or, like, you can find better, you can find better, this is not the girl that I really pictured for you. This is crazy <laughs> because... Family members will manipulate you the most because they really... Because they can see what is good for you. Because when a man really loves a woman and he feels... Or he's very in that early stages, you know, she's probably bouncing up and down, deep throat, at the anal, back seats, the VNs, it's on. You can't see the wood for the trees, as they say. Or forest for the trees or whatever the fuck that saying is. He's thinking with his cock. Kuato. Kuato's out. If you don't know who Kuato is, guys, watch my post-night clarity video. That's the one where I talk about Kuato. He's driving the ship. He's driving the car. He's driving the bus. Not you. Not your brain. <laughs> your mama, your sisters, if they don't like a chick, women are bloody good at it. They can pick up on each other. I'm not, hey, you guys tell me if you've ever been out with a girl and you take it or barbecue or without with friends and all the other girls giving a side eye, you can see it straight away. They don't like it. They can instinctually pick up on it that a woman is no good. And they will tell you, and you should listen to that. I had a lot of people tell me that bullshit. Not bullshit, the truth. And at the time, I didn't even know about it when I um, was with my fiance. People were saying, oh, oh, oh. Even my mate Larry, who he got done over, but he was saying it to me. Oh, I don't know about her, dude, and all this. And I was like, nah, mate, you know what you're fucking talking about. And there. If people are saying it, you don't have to take it 100% as gospel. Have a think about it. It's being said for a reason. People can see what you cannot see. As they say, love blinds or big boners blind. And we all know we all love getting a huge rock hard bonus. They think that they can manipulate you and they think that they know what's best for you. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And that's what, that's up to you to decide. So if you really believe your family members then that's when you break up your, with your girlfriend. But if you don't believe your family members that's when you defend your girlfriend. Cause as a man, that is your legacy. <laughs> like you are starting what? a family with a woman. If you are with a woman that you truly want to be with for the rest of your life, you defend her. Like what's This wrong? chick's grown up watching The Fucking Notebook and Beauty and the Beast and Snow White and some bullshit like that, you know? You know this is not reality. It goes to show you just how a lot of their brains work. They're not exposed to reality the whole life. She's a pretty little thing, you know? She's gotten special treatment the whole life. Maybe now, maybe she's had an experience with a bloke who's just fucking kicked her ass to the curb, told her to kick rocks because he didn't want to deal with her bullshit. Obviously, she's talking from experience here. You can see it on her face. She hates it. Fantastic. Good on the guy who got rid of this thing off his back. Because these women who act like this, even if it's not the case with her and she's making up some bullshit, but these, these women guys who, who, who act in this fashion, they will run you ragged over time. They will suck every little bit of life out of you. I call them black holes. Guys, I've made heaps of other videos. I talk about these kind of chicks. They're black holes. They're going to suck your money out. You're going to suck your life away. You're going to be like a husk of a man at the end with no self-confidence or self-esteem because you dealt with the sociopathic little thing like this. What's wrong with you if you don't? Like, what's wrong with you? Do you not want a family? Do you not want a legacy? Do you not want your own children to look up to you and to look up to your, your wife? What are you talking about? You know, about? like, wouldn't you want your kids to respect their wives? Like... In a sense, you have to think about your children, even if they're not real, even if they're not even here yet. Like, you have to think, <laughs> what? like as a man, your legacy. Like, your legacy, your ball sack. 
what, what do your unborn children's thoughts 25 years down the line after they're born have to do with the fact that you're going out with a petulant little sluzzer that you're going to get rid of and not defending because they clearly are a troublemaker and people don't like them. <laughs> they love this hamstery, guys. Women are batshit. This is like almost Oasis active level men mental. Zusk. I was talking about it in a recent video I did about my own experience womanizing. These are the sort of crazy chicks you come across. These are the kinds of chicks that have been on dating apps for way too long. They're, you know, they're really beautiful and you just can't work out why they're still on there. Then you talk to them. You have a date with them. Then you work out why pretty quick. And this is the kind of shit that they spit out. You have to think in the future. So defending your woman to your family members is definitely like key because family members will always have the most to say about your personal life. It's just, it's the truth. Like, Cause I care you know, about you. Every family member is going to have an opinion. So defending your woman will definitely make her happy. It'll make her trust you more. And Defending a woman will make her happy, but you miserable, isolate you from your family or friends. That's how a lot of these sort of BPD type chicks, buddy, work. I'm not saying she is one, but I, uh, my ex, man, she was like that. She, everyone loved her at the start. Everyone loved her. She saw, everyone thought I hit the lottery, but inside... I knew I hadn't hit the lottery. I was dealing with a lot of bullshit and eventually everyone switched onto it. And then she didn't want me spending time with them and even my own family because they would say things, right? Isolation, it happens. And that's what she's getting at here. Defend me no matter what, it's rubbish. Quite honestly, it's the best way to build trust is to defend her and to reassure her through someone else. Reassuring a woman in her face is one thing, but to reassure a woman through another person respecting her, it's like stamping a notary on the relationship. It's like stamping like, no, this is my girlfriend, this is my future wife, and we're gonna make this happen. It's like you're already manifesting it because you're telling that to someone else and not just your woman. Definitely tell your woman. Definitely tell her, reassure her. That's another way to make her happy. Oh, yeah, your woman, what? The cheeky dating that's going to fuck off after two months, one year, fucking two years, whatever it is. Guys, we know this bullshit doesn't work with these kinds of chicks. They go through the whole life jumping from guy to guy, from guy to guy, wedding, marriage to marriage. End up still saying the same bullshit on TikTok when she's 65, not wondering where she went wrong. Anyway, guys, that's enough for me. I can't stand watching any more of this bullshit today. If you guys have made it to the end and was able to stomach that absolute nonsense coming out of this chick's mouth, thank you very much. If you haven't subbed, sub already for daily videos. Cheers.